This is going to be a quick, unprofessional video on how to use Clonezilla. Uh, I got Clonezilla on this little 2 gig uh, store and go flash drive. And then I have this 64 gig. They make 128 and a 256 gig as well. So I'm going to be backing up my internal hard drive that's the spinning disc onto that. And then I'm going to put my SSD in there and restore my backup from that. So, it's pretty simple. We just press the power button on the computer, which is right there. And then when it starts up, you'll just press F12, or whatever yours is. Mine says F12. And then right here, we're going to choose uh, USB storage device. And then I choose this one right here. it'll do this little thing and then you just kind of like give it time and wait All right, so now we're actually getting to the good stuff. English, or whatever language you happen to be, and I choose don't touch key map. And then start Clonezilla. I choose device image, work with disks, or partitions using images. So like a file, or a folder. This one right here, is basically like if you have two hard drives, and you wanna just do a direct swap. I've not done that before, and when I did try it on the PlayStation, I completely messed up the PlayStation drive. Like, I had to restart from scratch. So, I'm just going to work with this one for now so I can put it on the flash drive. I choose local device. Press enter to continue. This is where you plug in whatever USB device is like. Maybe a portable hard drive if you don't have a flash drive big enough, or etc. Alright, this is where it says uh, repository, so we can note, you should not mount the partition you want to back up. So, we're, since we're not backing up the 64GB uh, flash drive, which is EXFAT, we're going to choose that one. Uh, let's just make sure. You should not mount the partition you want to back up. Okay, so this one. And then uh, I just choose top of directory. I'm not sure like what you can change here, but I just leave it blank. And then press enter to continue. And then uh, I choose beginner mode because honestly, I'm a beginner. Uh, save local disk as image is what I choose. It's pretty cool. Most of the stuff you need is pretty much set for you. And I just press enter, leave that blank. And this is what device that we're actually backing up. We're actually backing up the hard drive. So we'll choose that. And then since we're using an NTFS file system, we need to go ahead and skip that. And then yes, check the saved image. Enter to continue, and then um, collecting, blah 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 blah, getting device info. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? This is where you can, you know, do your sanity check. I just choose yes, press enter, and then it's going to take, um, like, say we have a we have a 250 gig hard drive in there right now. We're only using say 30 gigs of the space. So it's going to take that 30 gigs and put it on the flash drive. Now I want to be very clear, once it's done with this little part right here, it's going to go to another screen and this is going to take a while. Uh, with my uh, Republic of Gamers laptop, this goes at like 6 or 7 gigabytes or giga, well, yeah, gigabytes um, per minute. So it goes insanely fast using USB 3.0. This is only USB 2.0. So 
and we're using we're backing up a 5400 rpm hard drive instead of an ssd i backed up an ssd and then i put it onto a uh uh oh i used usb 3.0 and then i put it on another set on a 7200 rpm hard drive because it was like 120 something gigs that i don't have a flash drive that big yet um so yeah i backed it up i backed up my ssd it was like a 117 gig backup and then i put that onto a uh my usb 3.0 uh, four bay docking station I did a video on and so like it was transferring it it was making an image of the SSD and putting it onto a um, USB 3.0 uh, hard drive docking station to a 7200 RPM hard drive because it was like two terabytes or three terabytes or whatever so it you know if I had a 128 gig flash drive I could have technically backed it all up and then when I'm done with that I just take that flash drive and then I drag that over to my actual traditional hard drive. That way I can delete it and use my flash drive as a flash drive. I don't think of flash drives as long-term storage. I look at flash drives like, you know, okay, I need to grab a file from this computer to that computer. And sometimes you have files that are huge and you're like, oh, I can't use a flash drive. I got to hook up an external hard drive. Yeah, not the case anymore since you have 64 gig, 128 gig, and 256 gig flash drives. There's even a 512 gig one, but who wants to pay $800 for a flash drive? Not me. So, again, once this is done, it's going to go to another screen, and it's going to, um, it looks like there's 15 gigs of stuff to back up. That's, I think that's what I'm reading. It doesn't, like, like I said, if you have a terabyte hard drive in there, but if you're only using 30 gigs of it, it's going to back up just the, what you're using. So, I don't know if it compresses it or not, but, yeah. Anyways, so this has just been a video on how to do it. Uh, my This Canon L330HS stopped recording after like 12 minutes. And this is going to take longer than 12 minutes. And um, so yeah, once it's done with this screen right here, it's going to go to another screen where it's going to put up your 250 gig or terabyte or whatever hard drive. And then it's going to back up. And then when it's done, you'll just press a button, reboot your computer, and you can either, you take out the... In this case, I'm going to power it down, take out the old hard drive, put the SSD in there, go back into this, and restore it. And I can actually do a video on um, restoring, because this is backing up. I can do a video on restoring. So, like, a formatted, brand new, well, a brand new hard drive SSD, or a formatted one, can be restored to exactly the way it is right now with Windows 7, or Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows, whatever. And it's like you never left it uh, left off. Anyways, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're new, please subscribe. This is Josh is Nice, and I'm out.